take a closer look at some Boolean evaluations because they are quite tricky. Such at first, we have true and true, true and false, false or true, true or false. And as we can see here in the AND expression, we need all expressions to evaluate to true in order for it to be true. So since we got one false, it is now false. And at the top here, they are all true, so it is true. Though in the OR expression, we need only one to be true. So since there's a true evaluation anywhere, it evaluates to true. So what we do, when they come more tricky, so let's get a really tricky one straight off. True and false and true and true and false. And we'll just leave it here. Now we can tell what this evaluates to quite quickly because they are all AND evaluations. And because they are AND evaluations, we can see that because there are any false occurrences, it is straight away false. So we know this is false. Now let's try and look at another one. So we've got true and true and true and true and if I put false in now, it would evaluate to false because they are all AND evaluations. So this currently would evaluate to false if I put false in. Though, let's put true in and go or false or true. Now in this case, we can see straight away that this will evaluate to true. Because we have the or statements, only one of these expressions here, the and ones, or the false here, or the true has to be true. So this whole statement will evaluate to true. So in another case we can make false or true and false or true and false or false and true. Now in this case we have to check every evaluation before the ors because there's so many ors. So first we've got a false, then we've got another false because a true and a false will evaluate to false, then we got another false, and then we got another false. So in this case, the result will be false. So now if we look at this example here one more time, this is going to be irritating, I know. True and false and true and true and true and true or true. Now we can see this one on the left is false because this entire statement has AND operations inside of it and because it has one false, this whole thing evaluates to false. Though, because there is one OR statement in the end with a TRUE, this whole thing together evaluates to TRUE. In this case, it is always good practice to put the single evaluation on the left, such that we have the TRUE being evaluated first. So we have the TRUE OR statement. If this TRUE is detected as TRUE, the rest of the statements will not have to be evaluated. So this whole true, false, and all these checks here could take a lot of processing power. Though because this first one is true, this will no longer have to be evaluated, and we could save a lot of processing power. If we did, however, keep this all true here, this will be evaluated first, and then checked against the small one. So there may be much more processing used inside all of these evaluations, instead of the one on the right. So whenever possible, put simple OR statements on the left.